these two plants are about to make their home at the Hawaiian Legacy Forest in Haleiwa. Pomekai Partners is very excited and very proud to be part of the partnership with the Hawaiian Legacy Reforestation Initiative. We feel that the land is very important to the community as it was once crown lands owned by the royal family. And it is responsibility and duty of ours to return the land to what it was and restore some of it and make it available for the community. In partnership with uh, Pomakai Partners, uh, we'll be planting 400 acres of forest. Our original uh, goal was to actually be an agricultural project and help increase the local production of food. But through this partnership, we're able to marry and collaborate with forestry. There are so many projects that show how agriculture, food production, and forestry work together and support each other, not only for the production of food, but also for the environment. You're absolutely right. They, they cohabitate coexist. beautifully. They, it, you, one doesn't have to give for the other to exist. The marriage between agriculture and environment and the Hawaiian culture to me makes this a very special project. It's very, very exciting. To be able to walk through a Hawaiian forest or an endemic forest, there's a feeling that you get that cannot be communicated by words. The philosophies of the Hawaiian culture is you're not separate from your environment, you're part of your environment, so you don't inherit the land from your kapuna, you borrow it from your keiki. Being born and raised in Hawaii and traveling around the world for pre my previous work, I don't think I can say that I've ever walked through an endemic forest. So to be able to be part of recreating one in the state of Hawaii is also very meaningful to me. The word sustainability gets overused. I even catch myself using it from time to time. Unfortunately, I think for lots of folks, it, it's just a tagline. It's really refreshing when you find people that are actually walking the walk. I don't know too many people who have 400 acres on Oahu that would be willing to turn it over to permanent forest. I think that says a lot about the organization and where their priorities lie. I can't really express in words what it feels like to be able to be putting something back into the land, which is going to be there for generations to come. If you look back in history, uh, Hawaii was known as the diversity capital of the world. That title has now been replaced with, we are the endangered species capital of the world. We're losing more uh, of these rare species than any other place on planet Earth. If you don't plant native and endemic species, uh, those things don't come back. It, it may look like a forest to you and I, but to every living creature that, that relies on those forests for survival, uh, it, it's, it has no value to them. When you're planting native and endemic, uh, it completely changes the environment, and I don't just mean with the plants that are on it, but uh, the watershed. If you're driving around Kahana Bay after heavy rain, uh, the bay looks like coffee with cream. It isn't because there's a lack of vegetation on, on the hillsides, it's because it's the wrong vegetation and it's not processing the water the way the native trees were. So if you are interested in saving the reef and the fish, if you're a surfer, if you're an oceanographer or a snorkeler, planting trees is the way to save those resources as well. Walking through this forest is just going to be amazing. The feeling of it, the bringing back of the history and the stories that have gotten lost over time.